What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dead of War Let's Play is the Kingdom of Grand Columbia. And in this episode uh, we're just going to obliterate this Maratha fleet that thinks it can steal one of our trade spots. So we're going to sink them with our main battle fleet. And the main reason I am actually fighting it is because if I don't fight it and auto-resolve it I'll probably lose a bunch of ships. Um, which seems pretty par for the course really. <laughs> When it comes to water resolving naval battles in this game. So get my heavies up front and everybody else follow on for the time being. Yeah, their fleet is depleted already because our trade fleets are actually not that... They're not super weak. We've got a second ratio of the line that we'd like to bring into our service. Although, to be honest, do we end up taking lots of them in? Do we end up uh, taking the cheap ones in too? More ships for the trade fleets. And in fact, actually, this fleet could... If I capture this entire fleet, it could uh, take the take out the position of the uh, trade fleet they just destroyed. I don't know. Maybe. See how we feel. Either way, they got some Heavy first rates on the way. Monarca and Concepcion de la Napoli. <laughs> if that's how it's pronounced. But yep, just scooting straight on in. Second rate's going quite slowly. I think I probably want to go like this. Yeah, the fourth rates have 20 guns apiece, so they're down to about a third of their strength. So I'm not particularly bothered about any of those. Second rate could do a bit of damage. Go on, I want to see you turn and get ready to engage. I'm not going to. I'm not going to um, broadside. So I'm just going to let the guns fire naturally. let my fleet sail onwards I may end up bringing some of my oh no not you everybody keep on sailing yeah I'll probably end up bringing some of my third rates up to try and chase down the seconds actually I might it might be worth doing it now guess just get some to break off and head off these guys in case they think they can try and in case they think they can escape but for the most of the fleet, keep on sailing towards the second rate. Well, the mortars up in the bomb catch. Just pummeling Catalan. The priority is to get get into position against the second rate and start. Doing some damage to them. The second rates might actually be my favourite looking ship in the game. Don't get me wrong. Heavy firsts look great, especially with the red banding. First rates also look great. But the second rates seem to have this seem to look a bit more balanced. I mean it's all super subjective, but yeah. Just what I think. how things look. The bomb catch is still doing damage at point blank range. You get ready to start firing chain. This carronade frigate's going to cut us off, or cut off uh, Concepcion de la Napoli from the rest of the fleet for a time being. Either way, this is pretty nicely positioned. Drop anchor. Keep putting shots in. The ship's just going to push forward. Okay, so let's take these guys. Give them a slightly different order. Begin pushing up pretty quick. Keep firing chain.
Ideally, I want to put another volley into second rates, masts. There we go. There goes the top of the rear mast. Goes the main mast. You guys just keep blasting this bomb catch. Start loading your broadsides. You just drop anchor and keep coming out, coming at her from the stern. Actually, keep it a chain shot, not for the purposes of the broadside, but just to see if this guy can fire on anybody. Big damage. Interestingly. The rear to third race that I wanted to be steaming up here at high speed all decided they wanted to just use two thirds sail. You're gonna fire the chain. So we need to whip off the mast of that silly little catch. Prowl's gone, but she surrendered all the same. It's good to say how some of these ships like so. Pivot, chain shot, start whipping some of these some of these masts down with your heavy ships of the line, you can do it. Do it fast. Go on, Monaka. Bring them down a peg or two. Oh, there goes the bomb catch. This is fine. <laughs> Catalan's lost a bat. Oh, he's gone. No, he's come back up. <laughs> his, his men kind of flounder. No. They appear to have gone down to the locker. you guys just keep going this way do you actually stuck why are you not Go jib round, like so. No, you're not the fastest ship in the world. Yeah, they're slowly making it. You keep pummeling shots and shots into Catalan. Interestingly though, why you why have you got this 
straight rather than like an arrow to sail to, you've got like a... There we go. Almost like you were in a group, but you weren't in a group. that way so you do want to try turn the other way there goes Catalan you stay where you are yeah it's res res rescuing my heavy first well, are you or, or are you attempting to board Load my starboard cannons. Use chain. Just short range blast the sails off. Nothing. Nothing. We can deal with the damage. I just want the ship. Go on, Monarca. There we go. <laughs> nice. Yeah, it wasn't a close victory. But what we will do is we will bring the entire fleet into our service that we capture. Put our fleet on the trade post. Send you guys back to Amer the Americas for replenishment. Hop over to here. Okay, let's take you guys, accept the sloop. You guys get out there to replace the battle fleet on station. So yeah, can't really do much about you guys. For the time being. Okay, we've got, we've got a large amount of ships um, in build. Can't do much else because you're limited by how many po how many people you actually have. I mean, you guys are up to up to no good. You're a trade fleet ready to take position. Other than that, you guys are all pretty set. You're expecting or waiting for your rebellion. I mean, we could exempt you from tax, but it doesn't help a huge amount they just don't like being um they just don't like us being catholics and we can't build a church school here so we might try and there's no point in trying to build one here because it'll just get raided and all that anyway before it gets built you're in a good position to attack the british there which you may do in the event that they try and protect capital sí, Lots of elite troops, and they are all now at full strength again. So maybe here in Scotland, let's start. Just in case things go back. Oh, I should have sucked up all my money. Okay, let's build a bit of bit of depth before we go mad. Other than that, things are okay. Got an army marching over to the west. That's fine. Yeah, we've re we've abandoned Europe. Although it is tempting to say, right, let's pick salt okay, Mexico. Open okay, right. I'm going to offer Marissa for nothing. Actually I'm gonna demand I want two grand. Don't need very much. Oh. If I give it to Mexico, it will there we go. Excellent. Oh, the <laughs> Britain's at war with Mexico. <laughs> so they're just going to lose anyway. Oh, fair enough. I should have looked into that. <laughs> they are the worst people to give it to. Oh well. 
Not that it matters. Ceylon's secure. Um, we're not in a position to destroy their fleet yet anyway. The intention is to, is to build, our, build our naval firepower. Get into a position where we dominate the Western European theatre. And that's when we can start to focus more on India. I think that's the strategy in my opinion. Let's see if Mexico... Are you going to send troops over to help bolster the, this Indian Empire you're cultivating? There's a stack of British troops going somewhere. They're still taking it in turns in the north to figure out what they're going to do against us. At some point we are going to have to sally and just squash them. Some Prussian rebels. Yeah, I, I just need a bigger navy. Oh, hello. They've landed against Hispaniola again. Interesting. Good to know. Yeah, Yorktown needs to be on max capacity. Just constantly turning out ships. And I need to attack and destroy... Well, attack and capture London. Secure all that shipbuilding capacity there. You still want an alliance? And I want to say no. Because I kind of want to help Norway. Let me read. Keep the ports, even if we can't get into them. We can't deplete them. Keep the ports blockaded. Excellent. Rocket ship brig. Heavy first rate. Yeah. We need more. Okay, right, I'll send you back to the Americas. You're not going to engage yet. You're just protecting this fleet. Heavy first plus a small selection of ships. Preparados. You are right. You're a right target for these chaps to go out there and try and secure that heavy first. You're just going to keep churning out. Nope, not too many animals flagships. Just keep churning out ships. Lots of good industry upgrades. Do some good upgrades for Lisbon. Right, so let's send these repaired heavy firsts back to America to be combined into a fleet. Excellent. You can take over guard of this area. I can at least protect two ships with one, two traders, trading fleets with one battle fleet. Excellent. Let's put you into Yorktown for repairs. Excellent. Okay, really, I want to... I'm going to take the war galleons out. Send them over to the Americas to be combined into trade fleets. Focus on trade fleet production over there. You guys could do with... Another two fourth rates plus two fifth rates. Uh, just the three ships, actually. Let's start raiding the strait. Sandy Bay. It's 
start building some heavy first rate ships of the line. Still sieging Britain. I mean, I mean, I could just should just take it, but I want to smack these guys first. I mean, they're quite they're quite a fun army. Some good elite British troops being led by an Irishman. God, I'm not sure how King George would think about that. But well, let's go to town on them. Ultimately, down the line, they may end up trying to support the garrison, which if they do, that's fine. Uh, but if we can try and kill some of their units in this engagement, that would be superb. But let's get ready. So once we've secured Britain, and yeah, we need to build up, stand up a few navies to try and <laughs> just try, try and block off the Baltic and then block off the Med. Then over time, gradually expand that control to be dominating those theatres rather than being involved in them. So my artillery is going to be up on this hill. Foot artillery, that is. Put together my battle line. Grenadiers on one flank. Well, Grenadier Guards on one flank. Grenadiers on the other flank. Frontiersmen hold. Cavalry hold. Howitzers, heavy horse howitzers, just get firing. Horse artillery hold. Oh dear, I heard them, I heard them go, quick line, fire! We want to push. Yeah, they've quick lined my cavalry. Let's push my cavalry up onto the left. Get my grenadiers up here. Plus my light infantry up here. Horse artillery needs to unlimber. Cavalry's coming in. Form square. The rest of this position needs to pivot somewhat. Start to provide some alternative targets for their reinforcements. Grenadiers advance. Oh, devastating quick line right in the middle of their formation. Form square again. Now oh, these are the lifeguards, not just any guards. My general's going to engage their general. Bring the household cavalry back. 12 pounders begin engaging. Oh, I can't engage enemy horse guard artillery. The core of the enemy line has been broken. I'm going to bring a grenadier, a grenadier guard unit back to make sure my general doesn't die. Engage the Swiss Mountain Jaegers in melee combat, drive along into the lifeguards, one unit of grenadiers advance, horse artillery, smash the volunteers, new men form square as well. Recover the general. Grenadiers advance. Infantry pivot. We can't engage their heavy artillery yet. Let's begin quick climbing them this mune of militia as they advance in. Fusiliers look like they want to play stakes. 
horse artillery. Plink the Irish volunteers, provide some gunnery support. Don't need the cavalry out here. The squares are going to deal with these horse with the the horse guards because we got them into square fast enough. Advance, get my horse artillery to engage the fusiliers. Enemy horse cards defeated, so let's advance the infantry. Skirmishes out into the woods to hit the Black Watch. Enemy cavalry's coming in again. They can't make up their mind. Use Lear's wish to charge. Send the Grenadier Guard unit in to charge. The horse, they they are routing. Horse artillery engage the Irish volunteers. Advance up. Howard says engage the engineers. 12 pounders start to engage their line infantry that's pushing around the flank. Cavalry's coming in. These fusiliers shouldn't stand against my grenadier guards. There we go, enemy cavalry's gone. Triggering the mines. It's going to cause some problems. Especially to my grenadiers. Oh, they lost a bunch. Colonial light. Push the enemy artillery. Oh, my fusiliers were drawing too much heavy fire. We are going to get reinforcements. You might have elite infantry, but I've got a bucket load of pretty good infantry. Excellent. We got riflemen, Ferguson riflemen to worry about at the rear. Get my horse artillery to move. Push forward the cavalry. You've been hit, caught out by enemy dragoons. Oh no, they've got additional fall back. And slaughter the infantry. Oh, it says round shot. Shattered, broken. Advance a new infantry position. Blunderbuss shotgunners have pushed in to their to their doom. Human withdraw, House of Cavalry push in. Engage. Household cavalry's coming in. Charge. Artillery. Engage the enemy mortars. It's British fusiliers to the rear.
howitzers limber up. Push on with the cavalry force. Light cavalry go after their infantry. Cease fire. General's bodyguard. Ferguson riflemen. Enemy line infantry. Charging the riflemen. They're charging back. blend of a shotgun is let's get my general over and make sure we try and we try and organize it so he doesn't just go straight into the mines and so on oh a lot of friendly fire there from the brits I'm not worried about the blunderbuss shotgunners. Let's get this regiment of line infantry. Charge my heavy cavalry in. My light cavalry are going to break. Kill the general's bodyguard. Got him. They should probably go after the, the black watch to the rear. Still, they are still fighting, so you need to make sure we keep taking the ground. They're engaging into combat, which isn't a silly decision. Maybe have my 12 pounders can engage them now. George's unit of British fugitives. Elite troops, no doubt, but not enough to stem the tide. You don't really need to kill the general's bodyguard now, but... Yeah, to be expected, we've got our artillery landing very close. General's bodyguard's gone full kamikaze mode. If I can destroy the Black Watch, which I'm not going to be able to do, sadly. But if I could, that would be really useful because it was a unit that the British couldn't reinforce. Engage. General's bodyguard are charging in. Everybody form into little squares. General's already dead. There we go, the horse grenade guards are broken. Going right up into their face towards the mortars. General staff is gone, mortars are gone. Nice. That was pretty good. A couple of units routed. This army got the seven bells knocked out of it, but it's it's just fine. Should still be in good one piece. Yeah, we are. And then you chaps replenish. Let's upgrade the industry in Scotland because we do need to make these areas start paying for themselves. Okay, so sloops, sloops, sloops. I mean, I've got every every port I can effectively under blockade. 
I just need to build a fleet to stop the Austrians from moving troops out of the Baltic. Potentially take Copenhagen. Because then we've got Hanover as a as a a blocker to stop. We don't if we take Copenhagen, we don't have Austria as a border country. That'd be pretty cool. I was gonna say maybe that's what you do, but actually let's keep building this army in Lisbon. So you need some elite troops. So let's get Two units of marines, two units of line infantry guards, three spaces, need some, need some skirmishers, two units of guerrillas, and then a unit of Irish brigade. Because we're not going to use the militia, the militia is actually going to go up to here, to Garrison Porto. And then a small fleet at Porto, and a raid. The trade that's going past. Let's start to throttle not just the British, but all those who do business with them, including the Austrians. And Austria, they do have a dockyard, so they can recruit, or they are able to recruit better ships. We've still got a victory bottle up in Oran. I think you guys. Su Majestad. You guys will need to come out of here and start engaging British forces, or at least prevent them from combining with the natives. If I demolish this, just to see if I can build a... Yeah, they, they, they rebelled, and that's fine. But just so just in case, see if we can build the church school there. So we've got 3,300. Should just take Britain rather than just take London. I mean, I was anticipating a bit more... A bit more stuff going on here, but it just hasn't transpired. Let's take the city of London. Many, many mortars. Um, we're going to want to harass them with our howitzers significantly. But yeah, it's a very, very important cap uh, city uh, territory to take so that we can boost our naval production. Okay, I want two, at least two big fleets. Because there's always a possibility that the Austrians bring in some heavy hitters from elsewhere. So I want one blocking the Strait, one blocking the the Baltic, and I want proper, you know, big fleets there. Not not, not the current fourth rates I've got kind of knocking around. I want big ones. Uh, okay, sieging, sieging. We've only got the guns to make one breach. But we are going to want to attrit the garrison, or attrit the mortars of the garrison quite significantly before we go in. And you guys can experiment with kind of poke around the walls. So you guys knock down the wall. You guys quick climb anybody. Let's start to try and thin out these mortars. Yeah, particularly those mortars. Because they're engaging our... our... howitzers. So they still killed one of the guns. Okay, right, you guys may... Depends how this volley goes. Thinning them out, but they should, in theory, fire faster than ours. One more volley will sit. Will tell with what we want to do. So let's hope we don't take too much damage. I'm only speeding up time because right now we are just using our artillery. Nine. A couple more. Rounds in would be good. Although, how many guns have we got now? Just the four guns. Although, we've only got two guns actually shooting. Classic Empire. And now they're firing. I'm 
just keep shooting. And then I'm like, yeah. I at least want to thin these guys out. Although it looks like... I was about to say they've changed their minds and don't want to shoot. But they do want to shoot. Okay, we managed to um, glitch them, so they're only firing one gun at us, which is nice. Yeah, they're starting to make our howitzers waver. Just the one. Killed their general. Keep firing. Yeah, see, this is the thing, because we've got the gate now. So we actually... Out of hell with it. We're going to push. Take as many gates as we can. Mm, yeah, still, we would like a few shells in. And again, this is part of the problem, is they're not actually shooting who I... I've got, I've got quick line going, but they're actually not... They're aiming over here. I want them to drop it right here and go... Plah, on top of that crew. Keep the artillery engaging the breach. You know, attacking, shooting into it to try and bounce balls in and through. I do need to balance my commitments now, because we've got so many men in the centre. We can't form a nice, like, circle. Ooh, that should have done some damage. Oh, it has. It has. But yeah, when we push, we need to effectively attack all sides at once. Which I think I am going to do. It's going to add, give them mortars more things to shoot at. But when we go in, we've got to go in completely or not at all. We need our cavalry to get to have as many ways in to that to that um, town as we can get. Because all these mortars is that's literally the best the best defensive unit in the game. So even though these guys on their own are not super special, they are real dangerous. The morale effect is huge. If they focus fire on a unit, so you guys are going to try scale here. Yeah, they're dropping quick climb in as well. Yeah, looks already that's a unit already wavering. The only hope we've got is that we can scale the wall, make them so upset that most of their army actually comes out to attack us. And so now our artillery is starting to work against us. Because so we've done this before, where we scale the wall and the AI gets so freaked out about that that they just push out of the gate, which is, I think, what they're doing. Not terrible for us. We just have to be cognizant of the risk with risk we're <laughs> that we're taking on. Because that's making the whole of their army making their like defensive force commit to trying to stop us. There you go, 
we have the gate. You men run and take that gate. And then these dragoons are going to run in and save the day. Same with you guys. Run and take that gate. There you go. That gate is ours. Burn your dragoons. In you get. Burn your dragoons, get over here. I mean, you guys might try and help these guys. A lot of melee combat going on. Here come the dragoons. Go on, you men, get over there. Secure that gate. Excellent. Cavalry in. Excellent. 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 And you guys all just get in here. Don't worry about how or whatever. Let's attack this mass of troops here. So you guys hold back. Put artillery ceasefire. They're still dropping shells in the middle of our defense, the middle of our attack. We're going to hold, start holding the centre now because we're clearing out the uh, clearing out the guns. Come on. Oh, you come on! Like, you guys just run in here, defend the bridge, or defend the centre, so we can keep on killing them. Everyone else is running. These native bowmen auxiliary are winning against the British here. We're getting a good foothold here. Slaughtering them against the breach here. These guys are definitely done for. There's only 17 of them left. You guys are actually climbing down to go along and then up. Charge the native war auxiliary into the night. You men keep holding the centre. And he says, look, they're actually going down the la down here to run through. This is part of the reason why giving them orders mid-attack is so dodgy. Excellent. Here come the natives, not even looking the right way. Try to run at the last minute. them down. And shoot the hook. How are you? How have you escaped? Get him. It's only one guy. Too late, my friends. The city is taken. Whew, those mortars are a real wild card. London is ours. Let's see if we can hold it. First of all, get rid of Cambridge, Cambridge University. Get rid of Oxford College. Then let's get repairs underway. Although there is a limit to what I can actually repair. You men replenish. 
you guys are going to stay where you are and kind of hold. That was a good get. Okay, let's get some of these areas protected to stop anyone from surprising us. Okay, ev largely everything's okay. Actually, this one can... No, don't worry about holding Greenwich. Yeah, don't need you, Cambridge. Got three universities is usually more than enough. So let's get on with the end turn and see how the world responds. I mean, Mexico is going to be dangerous. They got more troops on the field than you think. The, the Royal Navy is suddenly going, oh no! You can't do anything but raiding. Oh, I thought they were going to pick up an invasion force. They finally sent people out to stop us from just raiding their ports. You'll never make it out of Austria alive. Oh, I forgot about this. I forgot about those troops. Good job they attacked us. Although if they didn't, they just siege us, that would be fine. Um, but I know it's a little bit short, but I'm a bit tired now, to be honest. After the end of that last battle, plus this is the third episode I've recorded. So, I think I'm going to end it here early, because this will be a good battle to kick off the next episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the destruction of this this force from the Maratha Pretenders. Cheers, everyone. <laughs>